In this video, I'm going to show you an advanced tip in Propellerhead Reason using your chord track to create your bass track or root note track, which can really speed up your composing workflow. Alright, so I have composed a short and simple little track here, and I'm using the chord track method that I showed you in a previous video to speed up my composing workflow because I'm using the blocks up here to write the chords as a visual guide and I use a chord track at the top here with sustained chords to use as a resource for the production. I wanted to make this track slow and peaceful to work as a soundtrack for beautiful nature videos or anything like that. Right now it is finished but it lacks bass. Well. I'm gonna show you a trick on how to fix that fast and easy. This technique works best if you write your chord track like I do, with added bass on your left hand when recording it. As you can see if I go into edit mode here, and this is the bass note. So for the bass track I want to use the same method as the chord track long sustained notes until it switches. So I'm gonna start by creating a new layer on the chord track and dragging it down and naming it bass. Next you select all the parts of your chord track, hold down ALT on your computer keyboard, left click with your mouse to see the plus icon and then hold the keys while you drag down to the bass track here. So this is now a duplicate of your chord track and what you want here is only the bass. So now you select all these parts on the bass lane here, click F8 on your keyboard to get the tool window open and go down to the very bottom where it says extract notes to lanes. So what you do now is set the note range here to the lower part of your chords. So I just click the down arrow on the from first from here to the lowest and then I usually set this one to C3 which is the middle C on your uh, piano keyboard and then I click on move and notice what happened. Let's click down this. Now I get a new lane with only the bass notes from the chord track and it actually sometimes misses a few notes that goes above the C3 note uh, but you can easily fix that by manually duplicating this by holding down ALT and left clicking with your mouse and this and then going into that zone and removing everything except this note and the same here. So now you can delete this duplicate and copy this pattern, drag it down and you don't need this lane no more so X on that to delete it. So now you have the root note of all chords in your chord progressions on a separate lane called bass on your chord track. And you can use this as a resource as well for your composing process. So for example, copying this by holding down ALT to a real bass track. And right now it's actually a bit too high in the octaves here, as you can hear if I play this. So again, you can uh, select all these, press F8 and use the pitch uh, function here in the tool window. Let's bring it down two octaves and listen. That's more like it. In fact, now that I think about this, I'm actually going to change the name of this lane on the chord track from bass to root because it is actually the root of your chords in your chord progression and you can actually use it for more than helping you with your bass track like for example creating harmonies using these uh, root notes but let's explore that in another video
go to my website and become a VIP. It's 100% free and you will get instant access to VIP content, special bonuses and my latest updates. Alright, now let's take a listen to the final result. Awesome! I'm Mike, showing you my advanced tips and tricks to boost your workflow and efficiency in Reason. Because you rock, my friends! My name is Mike, and I share my story and journey as a music composer and sound designer to inspire creative people like you. So click that subscribe button to gain music superpowers!